to. We turn to Tom Mayer. Uh, and this is a special moment for me because uh, Tom and I were reporting partners on some very ambitious investigative projects many years ago when we were youngsters at Newsday. Um, and I never worked with a better colleague, so I can tell you personally uh, about this uh, uh, great journalist. Tom has been described as, quote, an indefatigable reporter with a wide ranging curiosity, whether to about racial disparities in sentencing uh, for drug possession or the business of body parts. <laughs> um, yes, he did. Uh, the fact that he has managed to write five nonfiction books, including Masters of Sex, which was the basis for an award winning television series, uh, while consistently producing top quality projects for Newsday, is a testament to his passion for the craft. That's what a member of the nominating committee wrote. So let's see something a little bit more about Tom Mayer. Newsday has been a part of Thomas Meyer's life from early on. He delivered the paper as a kid, and as an ambitious editor of his high school newspaper, arranged for the head of Newsday to speak at his school. But a career in journalism was not a path paid by his parents. They were working class. Dad ran a machine shop where Thomas worked, and money for an Ivy League education was out of the question. But Thomas was undaunted. He had his sights set on a career at Newsday, and laid his own path. As a young graduate of Fordham, he managed a meeting with the head of the Associated Press. The advice? Get a job at a small newspaper and go to Columbia Journalism School. And he did. Scrounging the tuition from a mixture of savings, loans, and even horse race winnings from a lucky day. <laughs> Thomas produced a short documentary exploring the mob's influence on the Fulton fish market, a project that eventually sold to Channel 13. His master's project at Columbia, an investigation into illegal toxic waste dumping in Long Island, was a calculated move to impress the hiring manager at Newsday, but it was not to be. Thomas instead headed to the Chicago Sun-Times, and after two years in Chicago, his elusive Newsday finally came calling. It was the beginning of a nearly four-decade run as an award-winning Newsday investigative journalist. Along the way, he's written six books, all about what he says are examinations of America in our times. From the Churchills and Kennedys and Dr. Spock, to the Sex Researchers Masters and Johnson, a book that was adapted into the popular Showtime series, Masters of Sex. The prolific journalist also finds time to head multiple television projects for News 12 and has no interest in slowing down. Not only is he working on his seventh book, he's adapting one of his books for a feature film, and he continues to investigate stories at the Long Island paper that was once his paper book. Thomas J. Mayer. He's thriving. As I watch that video, I'm reminded of the gratitude I owe to so many. First to my wife Joyce and three sons for their boundless love and support. To my parents who worked so hard so that I could become the first in my family to go to college. And to Columbia Journalism School where I learned so much. For the past 40 years, I've been able to investigate news stories, write books, produce television documentaries, and travel around the world. At Columbia, we are encouraged to seek out the greatest stories of our times. As journalists, our personal success is defined not so much in terms of money or status, but rather in the vast richness of our experiences in public service and the extraordinary people we meet. The amazing ability with a press pass to go up to strangers and say, tell me about yourself. <laughs> For me, that has meant traveling to Berlin to interview Holocaust survivors through a fellowship administered by Columbia. It meant going to El Salvador for Newsday to hear about immigrants killed on the job in New York and later testifying about it before the U.S. Senate. 
writing a master's project at Columbia helped prepare me for the challenge of writing biographies in American history. As an author, I heard Dr. Spock describe the wonders of child rearing. Virginia Johnson talk about the mysteries of human intimacy. And a Jesuit priest who revealed how he counseled Jackie Kennedy after her husband's assassination. As a young student at Columbia, our documentary team it listened to hardworking people at the Fulton Fish Market tell us about what it was like to work under mob control. And most recently, using those same skills I learned at Columbia, I produced an Emmy-winning documentary about an innocent man who spent 33 years in prison for a murder he didn't commit. At Columbia, we are taught the search for empirical truths, and never has that search been more important than it is today, both for journalism and democracy at large. But here at the J School, I also learned the joy of journalism with memories and experiences lasting a lifetime. On this day, after 40 years, 40 years after I graduated, I am particularly grateful to Columbia for this award and reminding me just how fortunate I've been. Thank you so much.